My name is Arash Takshi. I'm Associate Professor at Electrical Engineering Department, University of South Florida, and I'm the PI of the Bioorganic Electronics Lab. Uh, we have a breakthrough uh, for a project that's funded by NSF regarding a new technology for developing wearable electronics. This uh, idea of uh, uh, putting electronics on fabric uh, has been uh, out for years, but uh, the current technology or, or solutions for the approach uh, is not really practical. So we were looking for a technology that we can uh, put copper uh, as the interconnect between the elements in an electronics circuit uh, directly on fabric. And the new technology we are working uh, is able to print copper directly on fabric. This uh, NSF grant uh, is uh, supporting uh, the recently patented idea on electroplating copper on, on fabric. And uh, it's regarding the advanced manufacturing uh, program in uh, NSF. This uh, new technique is uh, based on uh, what we call it uh, hydrogen evolution assisted electroplating. And uh, we are uh, manipulating the electrochemical process in a way that uh, we can uh, deposit copper with a rate much higher than the conventional electroplating process can, can do. You can imagine that uh, uh, any type of the uh, fabric, any type of piece of clothing uh, can be used. Uh, this technology can, can adapt it itself to a uh, different type of the uh, wearable uh, pieces of the clothing for uh, military applications, for um, space applications particularly, uh, for medical applications and also recreation. This uh, process has started with one PhD student uh, who has graduated already, but uh, currently um, there are two undergrad students and, and two PhD students and I myself working on the technology. And uh, um, I can say that the achievement that uh, all the students uh, have had so far is beyond what we expected uh, a few years ago. Hello, my name is Dinda Hatuk and I'm an undergrad student at the University of South Florida in electrical engineering. After working on this project for a whole year, after a few months, um, I faced difficulties in my results, but I was able to overcome these issues and I found it very insightful to be able to um, see how impactful research can be and have my moment of um, realization that I could be able to do graduate school after from these amazing results that I've seen. Hello, my name is Kat Kim Fon. Uh, I'm an undergrad student at USF majoring in electrical engineering. I had also recently graduated as well. Well, being able to have this opportunity to work in the lab was certainly eye-opening for me in that it really gave me direction in towards what I want to do. Uh, I realized research is extremely interesting and this topic in itself was fascinating for me to work on. I was able to do a lot of things that I never thought that I could do, such as you know being able to create the device to really set up the process uh, for electroplating and even carry out my own experiments and um, seeing the results that I got from it was amazing because I this was something I've never seen before you know and it's not something you would get in a normal classroom setting. Hi uh, my name is Mohammed. I'm a second year PhD student working with Dr. Takshi at the Bioelectronics Lab and uh, I'm working uh, with the uh, electroplating project where we are trying to develop the uh, uh, wearable electronics and we can fabricate uh, carbonized fabrics uh, with the help of a laser machine where we can directly deposit the carbons on the fabric. We are looking at the uh, crystal structure of the uh, electroplated surface using scanning electron microscopy and uh, we are studying the, how, how the crystal structures are oriented and uh, how they might be of any scientific use for us. We are looking for a good partner right now and uh, we are under negotiation to sort of uh, link with the company that we can uh, put this technology as a product and an available method uh, for commercialization. I want to thank uh, NSF uh, and uh, NASA Space uh, um, Grant uh, Consortium uh, for supporting this uh, project and uh, also uh, my particular appreciation is, is to the students who have worked hard on, on this to uh, transfer a, an idea to a real technology to be used uh, soon uh, in real applications.